a day in the life as a TikTok creator at a slime company. I'm not lying, mom, this is a real job. I still work here. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys kind of what we do as a day in the life. You might be asking yourself, wait, are you in Siberia right now? No, we're in Austin, Texas, and we just had an ice storm. And I thought I'd film the intro outside, and I'm realizing now that is a terrible idea. We're gonna go inside, and I'm gonna go over the goals for today. I wasn't kidding, guys, look at all the ice. It's cold. So my goals for today are to film four videos. I wanna prank Dan at some point. I wanna just do something silly, which I guess is pranking and being silly are at the same time. And just in general, just have fun. Oh, I forgot. Film this video. Yes, we need to film this, so check that one off the list. I forgot to mention, so this is the content creator studio. This is where we have everything we need to make videos. We have a slime mixer. We have slimes, bases, pigments, dyes, colors, everything you need to make slime and make videos. This is our area. Oh. Hi, Zoe. I recorded my first video at about 9.45 a.m. and it was this concept of throwing glue into the freezer and seeing if it would turn into slime. I don't know how that would happen, but it turned out to be a pretty great video. Then it was time for a little Zoe break. Aww. Dan, introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Dan. I edit all the long form YouTube videos right now, the three a week. I used to edit all the TikToks. He's the one carrying this channel on his back. So everybody say thank you, Dan, in the comments. Now, Dan, do you have any wisdom for everybody listening right now? Make it till you make it, work smarter, not harder. When life give you lemons, make lemonade. All solid advice. Thank you, Dan. I appreciate it. At 11.30, I got to work on my second video of slapping slimes, which always hurts my hands. Then, lunch check. I went to Chipotle, and please do not judge my bowl. Thank you very much. After lunch, I returned my slapping slimes back to production because they needed to be packed for orders. Haley was very happy to get her slimes back. Then, I put these filming slimes back on the shelf because Remy, our warehouse manager, gets mad at me when I mess up his count for how many slimes we have in stock. You're welcome. Update, the power went out. Zoe, are you okay? Give me a pop, you're okay. She's okay. Good girl. The Wi-Fi's out, so I guess we can't work now. It's back on. All right, turns out it was just off for like literally 30 seconds. Andrea wants me to go get a clip of our big mixer for one of her videos, so that's what I'm gonna go do right now. It doesn't look like it, they're making slime. What's up? Are you making another batch in the big mixer? Um, it keeps shutting off on its own, so we can't use it until the electricity it. I tried, but it's, it's broken. I'm sorry. Now I'm getting set up for my third video of the day, so I need to bring over these bougie lights is shoot a beam brighter than the sun. One thing that's really nice about having a space this big is that we just have literally space. It's just really helpful. Like anybody who does anything with like video production or anything or photos like understands that just having a space to create is like just massive. Another thing that you might have noticed in our videos before, but we have these like carts. As much as it sounds so silly, you do not realize how helpful they are. Slimes like these literally weigh like, I mean, that's probably like 45 pounds, it depends on the slime. Like having something to like wheel around and just go like this. By the way, I, I was the one that did pick out the color of the carts for our room. So there's actually different colored carts for each section in the warehouse. Yeah, let me show you guys that before we film this video. The content room is blue, that was my choice. So the slime kitchen, they have the red color, which I think just matches because they're the ones just pumping out slime like nobody's business. So we also have clays and they decided to choose green for their carts. I'm not sure why, but it kind of fits the vibe. So for the charm area, Amy has her own personal gray carts. So production area has these black carts, which are nice because you know that they're in the production area and you won't steal them. It actually kind of was a problem at the old warehouse is that people would just kind of steal each other's carts. So if you have a blue cart and you're not part of the content team, we will find you. Also, quick Zoe break. Hey Zoe. I have my setup ready. The slime is literally too overactivated. Well, I thought it was cool. Like, look at when I, like slime is not supposed to do that. We'll find something in the graveyard slimes. See, this is why you have carts. Look at that. Instead of having to carry this 50 pound thing, I can just put it here and then I can just lift it up. There we go. I have this dark purple here. Let's try that one. Ooh, this one looks crispy. Ooh, it's a little sticky. Now since the color of our slime is like a dark blue, uh, there's no point in dyeing it uh, turquoise. I think we need to find a new color. This fuchsia would look kind of cool. Like mixing that with some of the blue might look kind of spicy. Whoa. This just looks like straight up glass. Look at that. So smooth. I filmed this aesthetic video and they're super fun because I get my hands dirty in. I don't know. There's just something about playing with a whole bin of slime. After that, I filmed the restock video showing off our weekly new slimes. Then I went upstairs to hang out in the break room to have some fun. 
Well, I'm upstairs now and I'm definitely having a lot more fun. So this is kind of just where the chill spot is, where all the cool people go to. I'm never allowed up here, but you guys probably haven't seen this space. So I'm going to give you guys a tour. This is a virtual pinball machine. It can actually change into anything that you want it to be. So it's not mechanical. So I think this one is pretty fun. I've used it about once. This is legitimately my favorite thing. It's a ski ball and Ooh. I just love it. Normally I would never play ski ball, but I mean, when in Rome, you know, this one's my favorite. This is the basketball machine. Uh, everybody tries to beat each other's high scores. Uh, I have yet to place any high score on here. We had a productive day. We achieved a lot of our goals, but we got one thing left and that is to prank Dan. I wanna see how much slime that I can put on Dan until he notices. This might be pretty tough because he's working really hard and I don't want him to notice. We'll see what happens. I, I really hope that he doesn't because he does edit my videos and I don't want him to get that upset. All right guys, be quiet, act normal. Don't mind me, I'm just walking. I needed to grab some slime and I needed to be super quiet. I acted super normal with my slime in hand and began to approach him. Dan was so locked in, he had no idea that I was about to put slime on his shoulder. <gasps> then he noticed. So I backed away and tried to play it Whoa. off cool like I always do. You got pranked. Dan looked so upset because I got him good. That prank went super well. It's pretty much the end of the day now. So that's kind of what a day in the life is like for a social media content creator superstar at Peachy Babies. If you guys want to see another one of these videos, let me know down below in the comments and leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye y'all.